Hello. Welcome to the Tutors of Life podcast, where we research life so you don't have to. Episode 238. This is your host, Sean Tudor. And this is Sam. And this is a talk episode where the tutors talk. My <laughs> mouth is really heavy when I started that. What do you mean? When I said this is Sam, it just came out so sluggish. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Cool. I'm still sick. Sam is sick. Day two. Day two, Virginia Beach. Day two, Sam being sick. Yep. Day continuation of Sean being a stud. Yep. Hopefully I don't get sick. Knock on wood then. I did lose in chess today. Dude, yeah. As soon as I started getting cocky, Sam checkmated me. Okay, well we... I was destroying you. Hold on. So we're in Virginia Beach. Yesterday we did Sean's thing of going to the um, Aviation Museum, which was actually really cool. Um, Highly suggest it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then today we did my thing, which was going to the botanical garden. And as we're walking through the garden, is that why he just, Sean likes to play with things? As we're walking through the garden, uh, we see a chessboard, and we couldn't resist. Could not resist. You know what I realized? What'd you realize? When we do vacations mm-hmm. and when we do things, there's two things. That gets me more excited than anything else, period. What's that? What What is number one? That gets you really excited? Yeah, when I'm on vacay. Um, breakfast. Well, dude, okay. Besides food. Activities we do besides gorging ourselves. Um, walking? Oh, my God. What's my one like thing every time we go on vacation? You're like, what do you want to do? And I'm like, this is what I want to do. You know this answer. Uh, do I? I said, like, you're like, oh, what's your ideal, like, vacation look like? Remember, through Germany? And what I say? Oh, we just like to look at houses and drive. And castles. And castles. And oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, There we go. Holy smokes. Wow, that took a while. I noticed there's two things that I just, like, that when I'm doing it, I'm like, this is so fucking cool. Mm-hmm. Okay? Number one. Mm-hmm. Castles slash mansions. Right. There's not much cooler than fucking castles and mansions. Correct. Period. I love it. Love going through. Love learning the history about the people that live there, whatever. All the knickknacks and shit they gather because people don't just have a mansion. They have a mansion or a castle full of shit. Yep. So sick. Second thing, cars. You love looking at cars? Yeah, no matter like what car museum, whatever. They're just so sick. We walk into this aviation museum, and in one of the bunk, the hangars, there are three old school cars, and those are the first thing Sean goes to and looks at those more than he looks at the planes. Yeah, dude, there's all, and that's what like that's what made me realize. I'm like, dude, I don't even give a shit about a plane, you know? I don't give a shit about a botanical garden, but let me tell you what, cars are cool, mm-hmm. and mansions are cool. Yeah. So pretty much what I'm getting at is um, I know what I like in life, mm-hmm. and it's cars and fucking sick buildings. Yeah. That's it. Um, I don't think we've talked since Portland. Correct. Uh, so after Portland, we went down to um, Gloucester. Gloucester. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Uh, and went to the Hammond Castle. I highly recommend it if you're ever around Boston. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Yeah, it was sick. It was really cool. Uh, then we went to Salem, which was actually really cool. Yep. A little too people busy for me, but um, that was cool. Then we went to Boston. And then from Boston, we went to Providence for a little while. Providence slash uh, New, Newport. And then we went to New Haven. Went to Philly for... An hour. Right. And then now we're in Virginia Beach. We podcasted in Boston. Did we? Yep. Was it a talk episode? I don't know. Must have been because we yeah. did a Twitter episode Yeah, yesterday. we did. Yeah, we did. Because I remember talking about the homeless people in Salem. Yep. That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but anyways, yeah, Boston pizza. We ate so much pizza. Yep, we So did. fucking good. hmm And then uh, I quit eating sweets for a day. Oh, yeah, because we talked about how 
you have to be you have to watch Dave's reviews before going to yeah 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 yeah, 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 that's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we ended up going to two more pizza joints after that in New Haven. Mm-hmm. Holy fuck! Mm-hmm. So good. So good. New Haven was so way better. Good. New Haven was the best. Period. Yep. Amazing. Um, and that was the last time we got pizza. Mm-hmm. Marty, I I'm just Sean's craving thinking it. about it, dude. He's you know, dying. Dying. Um, but whatever. Uh, Philly, we stopped in Philly. Uh, cheese steak we ate, we sucked. It was all right. It just wasn't like great. Cheese steaks yeah. aren't like our thing. Yeah, I don't know if it, yeah, I think, yeah, cheese steaks aren't really like, there's a couple things I love. Mm-hmm. One of them is sweets. One of them is pizza. And that's the two best things out there. Yeah. So all the other shit's kind of just like food. Yeah. Whatever. Um, we have had some breakfast joints though. Yeah, that have been bomb. Fucking slaps. Yeah. Uh, we did agree Virginia Beach food is not nearly as good as the Upper Northeast. Boston, dude. Boston wins. Boston was pretty good. Mm, Portland. Portland food was good as fuck. Portland food was good. Mm-hmm. I would say Portland was better. Than Boston? Yeah. Duck fat, flatbread, pizza company, oh, fuck. and Becky's. Ooh. And coffee me up. Ooh. Ooh. I think we had our best food in Portland. <sighs> we had the oh, best. Because then we had the, the canteen, Turismo's canteen or whatever. Damn. All right. Portland had the best food. Yep. I will give you that. Yep. Best pizza was New Haven, bar none. By far, yeah. can't compare. My favorite diners were Boston. Yeah, I'd give you that. Diners, Boston, yeah. right? I liked just uh, the presence in Boston. It was fun to just sit there and just watch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those people are wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just being like the the atmosphere of the Boston diners. Yeah, was, was cool. Was my favorite. Yeah. Did they have the best food? Not necessarily, but they did have good food. They had good food. They had way better than Virginia. Where was the tacos? The breakfast tacos? Yeah, was that in Boston? No, that was New Haven. That was New Haven, yes. Yeah, leaving New Haven. That was yep. so fucking good. Those ones were good. Um. Anyways, yeah. And then the, the best views and the, like, uh, yeah, best place, I think, is Virginia Beach. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just, I love beaches. I love the ocean. Um, it, there's not too many people here right now. Uh, it's definitely their off season. Yeah, it's, yeah, definitely off season. Um, but yeah, I love, I love, love, love the ocean and beaches. Love it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it's cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, vacay has been good. Yeah. Vacay has been good. Yeah, and next up, we're just going to West Virginia to visit Sean's dad, and mm-hmm. then we'll be back home. In time to podcast for Monday. Mm-hmm. Hang out with the bones. Hang out with the bones. I'm looking forward to hanging with the bones. Yeah. Have you? There's been an empty middle lately, and it's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to a, a Mimi. Oh, my God, Sean. We didn't even discuss the most substantial part about this trip. Mm-hmm. Sleeping in our fucking car. God damn, dude. So we decided not to stay in Philly. Because, one, after the big city of Boston, I was big cityed out. Yeah. I didn't, I'm, big city is not my game. And so, big cityed out. And f- from Philly, we we're going to spend the day in Philly and then drive five and a half to Virginia Beach, five and a half hours. Mm-hmm. And we both agreed. We we're like, you know what? It's going to be shitty weather. Mm-hmm. Let's knock out the shitty weather driving. Let's get as close to Virginia Beach as we can, and uh, and then and that's what we'll do. And so uh, we canceled the hotel in Philly, kept driving. We were looking for like places to stay, mm-hmm. but we didn't really find anything. Yeah, it was either like there were like an hour, hour and a half outside of Philly, or it was like three, three and a half hours outside of Philly. Right. Yeah. Something like that. Bless you. <laughs> and, um, yeah, there was nothing in between, like, where we wanted to actually stop that, like, wasn't bad. Bless you. Why do you do that? Because then it, it messes you up. I'm sick <laughs> and you know how, like, uncomfortable I am. 
Love you, babe. No, you don't. That's funny. No. That's funny. It doesn't usually affect me when you do that. I know. That's why I keep doing it. Uh, do you think if you if if I wouldn't have said anything, would it have still been my fault? Yes. Okay, cool. Just for you existing right there. Okay, cool. Um. Anyways, we couldn't find any hotels in between that. Uh, there wasn't like bed bugs or like that had okay reviews. Yeah, that had okay reviews. And that wasn't like two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars a night. Yep. Um. So then we just kept driving and we tried to stop at a rest stop, but they had no overnight parking. Dude, super weird. So like up Wisconsin area and going out to like Actually, going out west. Most of like the places until we got past Philly, I would say, have rest stops for truck drivers. Yeah. You can pull the trucks in, you rest there, you take naps, whatever. For some reason, Maryland Virginia, right? Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. No rest stops. And I don't know if it's just because we're on, like, we're on the path that we are. So you can either, from Philly to Virginia Beach, you either, like, go down, like, the peninsula, I guess is Mm -hmm. probably what it is. Or you go around and, like, go through Washington, D.C. and, like, stay mainland. Um, so I'm guessing because of the path that we took is why they don't have them. Yeah. That makes There's probably sense. not that many trucks traveling that way anyways. Right. Um, but yeah, we, there was no rest stops. We tried stepping on a Walmart. They had all these signs that said no overnight parking grocery store kept saying that. And then there was one strip mall that we saw had eight, um, trucks parked in it eight yeah. semis and we're like well if semis are parked here we're good yep so we pulled up next to some semis and slept in the back of the car sam loved it it was so awful it didn't actually bother me even slightly i just said whatever i just sleep back here no i was so uncomfortable <clears throat> i couldn't i couldn't straighten out not enough room for me to lay mm-hmm. flat so I'm all like contorted and fucked up. And I'm just like, whatever, dude. Just I mean, get... we had to crack the windows open because at first it was really hot. And then at one point I got, actually it was pretty quickly, I got cold. And then you got cold. I got cold, dude. I got fucking cold. Uh-huh. But you got to figure it got to like 50 degrees outside. We yeah. had the windows, so it was like probably 55 degrees in there. And it was just drizzling all night long. It got cold. But you know what? It didn't matter because I was like, all I got to do is sleep. The worst part was Sean having to get up to go pee twice. (sighs) Once. Don't pull that twice shit on me. Once. No, because it was like right away you had to get up and go. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No. Yeah, because we were like just turning over and you're just like, I I have to go pee. That never happened. Yes, it did. (laughs) Do it, do it. Tell yourself whatever you want. Okay, all right? Whatever. Live in your world. Whatever. <laughs> uh, you can tell how mad I am about it. I don't even... Here's the deal, dude. I always admit it. I get up and pee all the time. I know. But it was only once. It was at 2 a.m. I remember waking up. I'm like, God damn it. This sucks. Um, the worst part was is like we kept having to drive to find somewhere to overnight park. And at that point, we were, like, at the next place. Like, if we would have gone just another, like, 15, 20 minutes down the road, we would have had a place with um That we could have got a hotel at. Yeah. Yeah. But at that point, I was over it, dude. I was like, I don't even care. I'm going to bed. Yeah, we were exhausted. I'm over it. But anyways, that was fun, sleeping in the car. It actually didn't, I I don't know. It doesn't, not a big deal. I'd do it again. If we had, like, more blankets and padding, I think it would have been a little bit more Okay. Yeah. It's also Sean takes up so much room. So, like, I love curling up in a ball, and I couldn't because Sean likes to just stretch out. Let's blame this on me. I'm just saying, you like to stretch out, so I had to adapt. What do you want me to do, curl up in a ball next to you? No, I would have preferred if you didn't have your legs out like this. (laughs) Hey, dude, check it out. If I can't go straight out, I got to go up. If I can't extend straight, I got to go sideways. Out, oh out to the side. That's how it works, dude. <sighs> so anyways, I didn't mind it. Sam minded it. I but, did. It was whatever. Yeah, whatever. You know? I don't know. You got to do it once, right? I don't know. I don't think you have to. But then, tweeted that. That was cool. And then we came in 
to Virginia Beach mm -hmm. over a 17-mile-long bridge. And so this I knew coming into it, that there was going to be this bridge. Did not expect how long it was. It's the fourth long longest bridge in the U.S. Um, it does have two underwater, two tunnel portions throughout the bridge. But yeah, 17-mile-long bridge. Mm -hmm. It was so cool. Over the ocean. Over the ocean. It was so sick, and it was like... Windy. Slightly drizzling, <laughs> 30 mile an hour winds. Um, it was sick. It was cool. It was sick. You could just see like six foot waves down there just slapping. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like any of the other bridges we've crossed where they're super high up though. So that was kind of nice. Yeah. It was like, I don't know, probably 20, 20, 20, 30 feet up. Yeah. So you can like see everything very clear. Like the water wasn't clear, but you could see everything like. Mm -hmm. And we probably cost it what, like. Half an hour, 45 minutes after sunrise? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So it was right after sunrise. We were crossing. It was, it was sick. But once we finished crossing it, it wasn't raining anymore. No. Uh -uh. It was really cool. It was really nice. But yeah, once you hit the middle point, the wind picked up a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, the middle point, the, the wind was given. Mm -hmm. And there's not very many cars crossing it, so that's really nice. It was so sick. Yeah. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's that. That was that? That was that. That's the trip so far. Pretty fun? Mm-hmm. What else you got? Um, or were we talking about the botanical? Oh, me beating you at chess. That's right. Oh, you just brought up that one little point. Mm -hmm. Who um, won an Uno yesterday? Ah, uh, Sean beat me twice. Yeah, boom, schooled. Yeah, I don't know if we're use if we were using the right rules though. I don't care. You told me that was the rules, and you lost with the rules you told me. Yeah. It so works. we played the same all three games, so it's not like it matters. Right. Um, yeah, I just, you started this podcast with the chess match, by the way, so. I know, I was just letting, I was letting the audience know, S sometimes I don't win. It was. It's liter uncommon. Literally, like, four moves before we're done, Sean is just like, I am so excited to have my victory donut after this. And I knew saying that, I was like, I'm going to fucking lose because I just got cocky. Mm -hmm. Sure as shit. Bam. It's like, damn. Dude, damn. It, was, it was impressive. I have to admit, I didn't see it coming. Dude, I was on the offense 100, mm -hmm. picking your shit off, that I wasn't even watching my defense, and you weren't even watching my defense. Mm -mm. You were watching your defense. Next thing you know, with like running away, <laughs> I put mm -hmm. my ass in checkmate. I'm like, mm -hmm. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah, I – we'll just talk about chess for a little bit. Um, we were going, and I was so sick of all these pieces being on the board because Sean and I just kept, like, like double defending stuff pretty much. So if I took a piece of his, I knew I would lose my piece too. And that's how, like, all of our pieces were set up. So finally I was just sick of it, and I was like, I'm just sacrificing one of them. And then Sean just started picking me apart destroying you and then i got i got there i damn. still got there damn yeah sean had like you probably had twice as many pieces as i Easily. did yeah, for sure yep for sure oh. yeah at that point i thought that i was just gonna like pluck you till you're dead mm -hmm. not the case no it was great so i highly suggest the botanical gardens here they're really pretty in general uh it was cool because they're setting up their, like, Christmas lights. They do Christmas lights from November 10th through, it might have been through January, mm -hmm. parts of January. I don't know. We got to see some of them. They're pretty dope. It's a pretty big botanical garden, too. Yeah. Um, so that was cool. Otherwise, we've been just doing some bumming and eating and walking. Right. I love it. Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. And listen to Dave Ramsey. I fucking love that son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> I fucking love him, dude. All right, this is what I'm going to say about it. This isn't, this isn't all Dave. It goes off of him a lot, but it's what you and I have been talking about this whole trip. And we've talked about it so We've been talking about this for years and years and years and years and years. Mm -hmm. Dude, shiny object syndrome is so easy. It's so easy to get thrown off course. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to be like, like want the next thing, want to, want to something else, you know, want to, you want an Airbnb, you want a tiny home, you want an office space, you want to, um, 
rentals, you know, you want like this business, that thing, you want a laundromat, you want a motel, you want a trailer park, right? Like it's really easy to do all of these things, right? Mm -hmm. But like we said before, doing all those things, like on the podcast yesterday, you do all those things, you net, you won't become an expert on any of them. Right. And, uh, and, and it's getting to the point that it's like so much of the shit we're doing, um, is not, is not bringing us towards our goal. Mm -hmm. It's just like diluting our time, our focus, our energy to dumb shit. And if we get rid of those things and, and, and quit doing those things and only focus on the, the, the main thing, the mm -hmm. main vehicle, the business, it, all those things don't matter because in three years, four year, years, five years, when you've got that income coming in tenfold, you're not worrying about the fucking, it didn't even matter that you missed out on five years of investing mm -hmm. because you have, you have so much money coming in. You can make up for all of that. Yeah. And it was just like when Ryan and I first, Ryan and I didn't worry about a rental for five years, essentially. Right. Growing our business on our fifth year in business, we got like a dozen rentals. Yeah. Just like that. But it was because we finally had money mm -hmm. and we were able to do that. And we were like, boom, acquired all of them that year because we had income where a lot of, if you think about it, a lot of other people are like the way we would do it now is we wouldn't even get to 12 rentals in five years. If we just save up and, you know, if you're just saving up on a normal salary to get them, yeah. you're not even going to get that many. But if you do it, build up that income, then you have the income to fund it. You can just fucking go hog wild on it blah, yeah. blah, and then get good at it. <clears throat> so, my my big thing with it and it like goes into Dave Ramsey's thing is like you do one baby step at a time. Yeah. So you save your first thousand dollars. Then you put all your other money um towards your lowest amount. Amount of debt your lowest amount of debt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's one thing that like Sean and I find not weird, but like that was something we kept we like to guess what he's going to say before he says it. Yeah. So there's one thing we kept mixing up was because um, we would choose the things with the higher interest rate before the things with the lower interest rates. Yeah, but he don't give a fuck. It's the no. low amount. Yeah, so he does the lowest amount. Which makes, Lowest to the highest amount, yeah. It makes sense yeah. because you attack it. It's an easier concept, too, to follow. Yeah. Yep, you attack one thing at a time, attack one thing at a time, mm -hmm. boom, 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 knock them out. And then once you got all your debts paid off, then your next thing is to save up three to six months. Mm -hmm. So all you're doing with all your extra money, doing that. Yeah. Then you get your your fourth baby step, which is uh, fourth baby step is fifteen percent of your income mm -hmm. to investing. So now you um, put fifteen percent of your money on investing, and then boom, that all goes there. Then I think the fifth is starting to pay off your house. Maybe I don't something know. like that. <clears throat> he kind of said four, five, and six go hand in hand. Oh, sure. So, I don't know. Because that was that one couple that they said they were on baby step four, five, and six. And he's like, oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. Now we're getting a little on my... But, but the thing with it is that I loved is like attacking one thing at a time. Mm -hmm. Once you attack it, then you can move on. Once you attack it, then you can move on. And listening to so many people and like their thought processes and what they're doing, I'm like, I can see where you're thinking, but you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I can see where your head's at, but you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Because you're just... When you do it, when you do it that way, it gets cloudy. Yeah. On what you're doing, you know, like, oh well, I'm gonna pay off the debt with a higher interest rate, while I'm trying to save, while I'm trying to put a little extra money on my house, and while I'm trying to still like go to Starbucks every day, and what, like when you're trying to do everything, you can't do anything great. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about Dave is he's so like, no bullshit kind of guy because mm -hmm. he'll ask people like oh do you have a budget and they'll be like well like i don't spend a whole lot of money and he's like no do you have a budget well no and he's like then the answer is no right and he's like that's what you got to do first he's like if you don't have a budget he's like you're gonna just spend money on whatever you want 100 percent. well like you we have a budget but when we've got a budget so we have an idea of what we're spending mm -hmm. and make sure we're like in lines 
but we don't track it like we used to. Yeah, and that was something, I don't know if you heard what he said. Um, he said to have a paper budget, mm. which we, that's what I used to do. Right. And then we went to the electronic one. And ever since we went to the electronic one, we haven't been nearly as strict no. with it. When we had a paper budget, dude, the money we found, mm-hmm. the money we were like, hey, like we got this fucking money. Where did this money come from? And we were able to pay off shit so fast. And yeah. stat- we were stacking so much cash. It was stupid. Mm-hmm. But it was because we we assigned our money to each category. Yeah. Our money went to a certain category, period. And so, like, that was that. Mm-hmm. It was that simple. Yeah. Your money went to the, the category it was assigned. And because we did that, we were able to just stack egregious amounts of money. Yeah. Because we weren't doing the dumb shit. We weren't getting coffee every fucking day. Yeah. I wasn't going out to eat three, four days a week. Like, that shit wasn't a thing. And guess what? Does that, like, how much joy am I getting going out to eat? Not a whole lot, dude. Or getting a it's like it doesn't matter. Yeah. And that was the nice thing with seventy five hard is it really made us like reel back in what mm-hmm. we were spending our money on. I saved so much money during seventy five hard. Mm-hmm. Huh. Yeah. And I got fucking shred house. Yeah. Abs of steel. Um So that was really nice because then we only really went out to eat if it was like it was on occasion with um the jujitsu group. It wasn't every Friday like it was. It right, was just right, like yeah, once yeah. a month we were going out right. to eat with them on a Friday. Yep. And that was only if like everyone was going out. Right. Yep. So yeah, that that really helped a lot too on the money front. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. No, it's good. It's, it's fun. I just, um, dude, too often, too often we just shiny object. Mm-hmm. Too often we're thinking about shit we shouldn't be thinking about. Worrying about things we don't need to be worrying about. We're not executing the plan. Mm-hmm. And that's that. Like, Yeah. that's And this is something I told Sean this morning, but I was laying in bed last night thinking about it. Um, we went to Arte Syndicate less than a year ago. It was the first weekend of November, so almost a year ago. Right. And then we got to do that cool thing with Rob in, in December. Yeah. So that was... Ten and a half months ago at this rate. Sure. So it's so weird because we keep saying like how fast time is gone. But it also like. It doesn't. Like that shit seems like a long time ago. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of cool to think like that hasn't been even a year yet because then it makes me think of like, okay, if once we get back from our trip, we'll basically have two two months left of this year. Mm-hmm. So I really. um I, I really want to hunker down and really start changing some of my like habits and things I need to accomplish and stuff like that in the last two months to make myself like a little more proud of like what I did in this year, especially with all like the personal development stuff we did in the past year. Right. Um, so it is kind of like it, this trip has been very, very good for Sean and I because we have been able to like think more thoroughly and deeply through things without having like, our work is distractions. Right. Yeah. Yeah. During like everyday shit, you can distract yourself a lot. Yeah. So getting out of it and looking uh, from a bird's eye view and going like, oh, dude, we're slacking here, 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 here. If we do this, 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 like these habits will make us move forward so much faster mm-hmm. um, and so much better uh, than getting caught up in the day-to-day bullshit. Yeah. The day-to-day bullshit, getting caught up in that just fucks everything up. hmm So, yeah, it's good. It's really good. To, uh, the thing is, when I go on a vacation, I'm not going on a vacation to, like, completely turn off. I'm just leaving to not be hunkered into the day-to-day shit, which al- allows me a lot more time to think. And if I got a lot more time to think, I can come up with ideas and shit to make life better when I get back mm-hmm. and, and make things better. This was honestly, um, Sean and I do a lot of thinking while we're driving. And that was why we started the podcast is because so often we would drive up to Ashland and like we would just have these incredible conversations in the three hour drives up, sometimes on the way back. Usually I'd be sleeping on the way back though. Um, Boom. 
but that is like what triggered this podcast. So it's been really nice on this trip to kind of reinvigorate that kind of um, inspiration for us. I did not need that reinvigorated, but I'm glad you you noticed that. Mm -hmm. That's good. I mean, we don't really do a whole lot of long car rides anymore. No. Mm -mm. No, we don't. Yeah, it's kind of nice doing. Mm -hmm. I don't mind it. I like it. I like driving. I like doing that shit. Yeah. You like yelling at me. Mm, I do it all the time. Co literally constantly. Mm -hmm. yeah. There are times, though, like you need me to. I'm telling you, it's not near as often as you do it. Not even like 10%. You, but if there's going to be the one chance <laughs> that you don't stop and it's because I didn't yell at you and we get in an accident, you're going to be like, babe, why didn't you yell at me? It will be your fault then. Exactly. So, you know, so now I'm just going to do it every single time. Oh, my God. Car car hits their car taps on their brake lights. I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out. Chill out. Okay. The other day, the car in front of us has their brake lights on, and Sean's speeding up towards them. And I'm like, we can't go left or right. So why are you speeding up? Yeah, and then we found out they didn't even like they were just holding onto the brakes while still giving it gas. Not that one. Or uh, whatever. No. There was one that did that. Oh, there was one that did that. And you're yelling at me, slow, yelling at me to slow down. I'm like, that motherfucker's speeding up. I can't help that he's got his foot on his brake. Whatever. I don't care. Anyways. <laughs> I love it. Do you love it? Yeah. We actually do really well traveling together. Sure. You make it sound like we don't. No, it's all right. No. We're better than most couples. I don't know, most couples. I don't know how they do. I don't know. That's true. I don't know. That was what Brooke mentioned to us. She was just like, are you guys going to be okay being together with each other for that long? We're like, yeah, yeah. It's not an issue. Yeah, possibly. I don't, I don't know. I guess we got four days left. You could still want to divorce me in those four days. <laughs> want to do this whole time. I just, uh, I don't let the the minute of your dumb shit impact my whole day. It's the Ed Milet shit. Yeah. Do you want me to pull it up? No. no. Okay. Ed Milet made a post about it. It's about your seconds. You have eight thousand. You have 89,400 seconds in a day. Um, if you had $89,400 and someone stole $10 from you, mm -hmm. if you had $89,400 and someone stole $10 from you, you'd have... $89,390. Would you throw away, burn all that money because someone stole 10 of it? Mm -hmm. And you would want to get back at and them. And you'd want to get, because, because you wanted to get back at the person that stole $10 from you, are you going to burn your other $89,390? The answer is probably not. The answer is no. But you've got 89,400 seconds in a day. Mm -hmm. So if someone has a, if someone ruins by being negative, poor comment, whatever, ten seconds, ten seconds of your day, are you going to throw away the other eighty nine thousand three hundred ninety seconds of your day because someone upset you? Someone said something to get back at them. You're going to throw away your eighty nine thousand three hundred ninety seconds. That doesn't make a lot of sense. So I just take that concept when Sam annoys me. That's good. I don't just throw away my whole day because of that. Proud of you. I think a lot of people do. Yeah, they do. A lot, like a lot of people, throw away their their shit, and it, occasionally I get irritated and pissed off. But I try to keep it, not just with you, but like with people too. I try to keep it at as little as possible because what's it gaining me? Nothing. It's nothing. Like it's not doing anything for you. So yeah, that's kind of I don't know. That's maybe that's why it's not so bad. Makes sense. Sure. Cool. You got anything else? Nope. Good. I need to sneeze and blow my nose. All right. Sweet. Thanks for tuning in, gang. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.